NWA wrestling fans, Kyle Davis here, and we are coming to you from Chalmette, Louisiana. And I gotta be honest with you, Hard Times 3, it just happened. The wrestling world's been talking about it, and history was made. So please, allow me to introduce the man who just won the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship at Hard Times 3. From Mandeville, Louisiana, this is the Great American Smash, Tyrus! It is undeniable. We are now in the Idol Mania sports management era of the NWA, and it all starts on this episode of NWA Power, an NWA Power Trip in conjunction with the Revolution Rumble here in Chalmette, Louisiana. It's Joe Galley, Tim Storm, and Velvet Sky on the call. Well, and, and we saw almost a, I don't want to say a clean sweep, but we saw a ton of success and we see standing right now on that stage. I mean, if, if you could see through Austin Idol, you see three champions. We may not like what he's done. We not, may not like what he says or what he represents, but that group that we see has, has proven success. Tim, how do you feel about Idol Mania having all the goals? It's, you know, the, the difficult part is we know, we all know that there are times when Mr. Idol seems to, to grate on the nerves a little bit. But you can't argue with success. And, and regardless of who we give that, regardless of who we give that credit to, these, these are three champions. That's how you just can't say it any other way. It's three champions. It looks good on you and you deserve it. What I'm, is the piece I'm always ready. Well, what? Somebody else is giving them, sorry. What? Why does Ty what is Tyrus's beef with you? Do not point your finger at me, Austin. What, what is Tyrus's beef with you, Tim? I, I don't think it's it's beef as much as he always comes over he, to the table and stops and pauses and just stares a hole right into you. Well, what, what he what just is, said is, whenever you're ready. I, I think that there's always that feeling of um, I don't want to say competition, but. Holding that NWA World's title right. is what defines me as a professional wrestler. He knows that, it, and and when somebody takes it like he does, like he did, and it means that much to to them, we, it's like a connection, and you feel it. He knew he knows how much it meant to me. And he's basically saying, "Here it is. It's mine now." I told you. Tyrus, the rest of Idolmania Sports Management in conjunction with Church's Money Enterprises. I, I can't help but be taken aback by, as you all came out here, the championships, hard times. Of three. course you can't help it. You can't hardly help anything, can you? Matter of fact, your name isn't Kyle Davis, it's Kyle Doofus, because I told you he would be the next National Wrestling Alliance World's Heavyweight Champion. This is the king of the world, the amazing Tyrus Smash. And look at my new champion. Look at the golden boy. He's got the golden toy. And look behind you. Look behind you, the National Heavyweight Champion in conjunction with the church's money. We are sitting on the top of the world. All the gold is not in Fort Knox. All the gold is in Fort Idol. I'm glad you found the hard cam. Thank you. Tyrus, I just want to say congratulations as being the champion. Kyle, you have to forgive him. He's a little excited. He's a little excited. He's a little excited. Listen, listen, I understand. And are you okay? Do you need sunglasses? Because there's a lot of bling out here tonight, and you could hurt your eyes, and I know you need them. There's a lot of bling. There's a lot of gold. There's a lot of success. And a lot of hard times came to an end last night. And I am holding 10 pounds of gold, and I'm holding it swell. I'm holding it good. Looks good, That's right. looks That's good. Nice. Now listen, but it's not, it wasn't just about me. It was not just about me last night. I surrendered what I loved the most, which was that World Television Championship. And it turns out I didn't even surrender it. I ended up passing it on. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, 
I'm 10 pounds of gold, but you're just golden. You're new world television champion. The golden one. And actually, right after this, Jordan Clearwater has his first title defense right here on NWA and Power. And before we get into that, we can not go forward without recognizing the first successful title defense on this hard knocks yesterday was done by some think he's a masked assassin. I just know him as Scion, and he is the anchor of idol management. They can't, he's wearing a mask. I don't think anybody's debating it. You have been a success. Idol Mania Sports Management has been success. I mean, Church is Money Enterprises. Something you don't know anything about, success. But at least you're standing close to it. Tell him, Church. Tell him. Look, what can I say? We holding all the championships. What you people are looking at is a bunch of successful men. This is... This right here is the most success that any of you have ever seen. And this is just the start of it. Champ, where do you go from here? Where, well, that's the beautiful thing. This is the NWA. There is nowhere to go. All you gotta do when you're on top of the mountain is wait. You know, Trevor and I, he got me one, I got him one. So you know there's another number in there. Matt Cordona, you know he's gonna say he still hasn't been beaten. So he's gonna have an issue. Then you got EC3 in the building. You got Thomas Latimer in the building. And every time you look, there's a thrill Billy running around. Everywhere, through every corner. Matter of fact, I am not blind to know that both of these champions can cash in at any time. And the one thing we have here, as you know in our history, is we're not afraid to keep it in house. So I'm at the top of the mountain and let the games begin. I duck no challengers. Anybody wants some hell? Billy Corgan do some push-ups and sit-ups. He can get his little singing ass in here and get beat too. I don't care who it is. Sign a waiver, get cleared, bring your ass in here and get sent home hurt. It don't matter to me. Because it's my world and you just living in it. You watch me, I don't watch you. Go ahead, Kyle. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for power. Tennessee, this is Big Strong Mims! Mims solidifying his opportunity at the number one contendership for the television title in the first match at Hard Times 3 during the pre-show, taking out the thoroughbred Anthony Andrews, and Tim, he looks focused. I don't think you can ever say that Mims is not focused. We know he's big, we know he's strong. He's made a name for himself, another opportunity for him here. I, it, can I can I point out, and I think Joe, I think you said this last night. I, I can't remember, but it, but it's interesting to me. And his opponent, we just saw. he is the NWA World Television Champion. He is the Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater. Is that Jordan Clearwater is again out here by himself? He had he had his entire team there in the back. He had success last night with that, and, and, and obviously he's expecting that again, first title defense. 
And this is going to be a very different style matchup than we saw at the pay-per-view. We are back to having the traditional 6.05 minute time limit on this match. So if you're going to work and you're going to try to win this championship, Big Strong Mims, he's got to move Ooh, fast. No pressure there. Clock starts at the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Bill, but don't you think you said it, but don't you think he's got to be feeling that extra pressure? I, for the first time, oh, the first time of defense. It, it, you reach that, you reach that goal that you've set. You, you, well, I mean, look at that. Okay, I'm just get, look what he's doing. And I kind this of is it, typical. This is typical Austin Idol shenanigans right here. I mean, but in this context, wasting it's, time. But it's actually a good move if well, you're who? if you're well if, if you're, you're the champion. Yeah, if you're the champion, you should be a fighting champion. Completely That's just agree. My opinion, not a cowardly champion. You is need it cow? Defend. Is, with honor, your championship. Is it cowardly or is it tactical? Because there's, I mean, obviously there's a difference. I mean, I guess it just depends on how you want people to, per how you want to be perceived. Yeah. You know? I, yep. I agree. I, I, I guess it could be a little bit of both, but if it were me, I mean, I would want to be known as a fighting champion. In the, in the big picture of, of how we rate success, <laughs> isn't success rated by holding that title and keeping that title? And that's what he's. If it's if it's tactical, and he's run he's, he's running the clock. I, we see it. At, we see it in every sport. Ah, there you go, Mims. He's done playing. No, I see what you're saying, yeah. Tim. I, I agree. I do agree. I, I really do feel, Tim, that I mean Jordan Clearwater. It's very clear. He just wants to get on his bicycle. He wants to run out this clock. He wants to take a knee. That clock is ticking too. And remember, if he gets seven successful title defenses, he gets that lucky seven, and he can cash in for a shot at the world championship. He's threatening to leave here. What is he, he said, doing? "Give me my." He said, "Give me my belt." Mims ain't having it though. Well, and, and again, if we talk about tactics, Mims can't let him run the clock. He's he's got to do exactly what he's doing. If if, if Jordan Clearwater wants to leave the ring, Mims cannot let that happen. He can't let the clock run. It's it's like now he's got to force. He's got to force the offense. And you can tell Mims is just hungry. He wants a fight. I better be he careful. I'll see. Poke to the eye. And the Golden Boy. Oh, on the attack now. Of course. But Typical. <laughs> he poked him in the eye, turned his back. A massive advantage. And Tim, you have to be absolutely right. I mean, when you have Black G's and you have Austin Idol and you have Tyrus and you have Scion all there to guide you. All these men who have been champions and are champions, they're going to tell you exactly what you need to do to hold on to the gold. I know. I know. A lot of times we, as you know, as we're as we're seeing these things unfold, there's a lot of things that we may not like uh, as far as tactics and those kind of things. But you talk about the wealth of wisdom and knowledge. The the, the people that you just named add Tyrus to that group, add that experience. There there is nothing that in that group that that they have not seen. Strategy-wise, and you know he's been coached on this. Mims cut off at the pass. Oh. Clearwater back in control of the match. I think Mims is he's it's a it's a dangerous situation where cover kick he, out. He has to push. He has to push the envelope. He has to push. He can't let the time expire. But when you start rushing, when you start, that's when you make mistakes. And if if Jordan Clearwater can take advantage of any of those opportunities, including the clock or a mistake. I mean, obviously, it's it's gonna it's gonna pay off because he's gonna retain. I mean, I feel like Jordan Clearwater has been nothing has been doing nothing but taking advantage of it since the bell has rung. I I can't even I I don't. It's not a, it's not as much fun to watch at times, but you gotta admire the fact that he recognizes the situation in his first title defense. Mims fighting from underneath. And get to his feet. Regain control of this matchup. The clock is ticking, ticking away. And we know how important this title is to Mims, how many times he's tried to get it, all the battles that he had with Tyrus, the fact that he was sent to the hospital, he was put in a wheelchair yep. for yep. a number of days. It means so much to Mims, so much more than just the championship. And he never gives up. That's what I love about Mims. Well, he's, he's paid a price physically. I mean, he's in his Lateral shape. press, kick out. He's come back from an injury. We know that means everything to him, but, you know, it, I think Jordan Clearwater is, is 
is obviously just as just as appreciative of the opportunity. He took advantage of his. That's what Mims, Mims has to do now. But the clock is ticking. Shoots him off. Mims goes for a sunset flip. Jordan Clearwater Reaches trying to get to the ropes. He's fighting with everything he can. Can't overpower big strong Mims as he gets the pin. Shoulders are down. Oh, oh so close. Almost had it there. Yeah, he's got to stay on him here. Oh, oh my man. gosh. Nearly decapitates Mims with that clothesline. Now he goes for the cover. Kick out. Whew. One minute remains. One minute remains. Oh, he's got one minute. One minute pressure is on right now. Now and again, he's got to push harder. He's got to come out of this, and that's if you're not careful, that's when and you make mistakes. And he can do it. I believe in him. He can do it. Mims can do it. But he's got to get out of this hold first. And Jordan Clearwater right now, I think, is thinking, if I can hold on to this for 45 more seconds, if I can hold this for 40 seconds. There you go, Mims. Ooh. Big clothesline, back elbow. Mims is fired up right now. He has a limited amount of time left to try and Ooh. Oh, no. That may have just ended that things right here. That was the right Midas here. touch. That big boot Oh, from I think Jordan Mims Clearwater. is out. He's not moving. It's over. Oh, no. Oh, the bell. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Time limit draw. Six. Well, you, I don't know if it would have The 605 time limit has expired. This match is a draw. Mims is, Mims is out. He is, hasn't moved. But look, either way, if it's a draw with the Lucky 7 Series, this counts as a victory for Jordan Clearwater. He is now has won in that Lucky 7 and remains your television champion. To be honest, it's almost kind of bittersweet. It almost looked like he was going to win the match right there. I'm concerned about Mims right now, guys. He has, okay, he's moving I mean, a he took bit. a massive boot to the head, ladies and gentlemen. He sure but, did. Congratulations to the Golden Boy being victorious in his first matchup defending the NWA Television Championship. We gotta take a break, we'll be right back. Everybody is trying to get into the NWA, but in order to get into the NWA, you have to get wrestling training. So you gotta get training! You hit it on the head, man! You gotta be coached up! You gotta get the right training from the right person in the right facility! You gotta get somebody who's got a track record, man! Someone's been there, done that, they've headlined big, big buildings, venues all around the world, not just in Atlanta, the Omni, the Omni, the house that Austin Idol built, baby. Memphis, Tennessee, riotous crowd shaving somebody's head, the hometown hero. We all know who it is. If you want wrestling, if you want wrestling in your life, if you want to be a professional wrestler, if you want to be standing out here with me, like the Universal Heart Drive, Austin Idol, you got to get coached up, darling. You got to come to Austin Idol's Universal Wrestling College. Go to the website, Universal Wrestling College. It's so simple. You sign up, we'll get it. We'll check you out. We'll get back to you. We will take you all the way up the mountain to the top, the pinnacle, the peak, the summit, the zenith. Austin Idol's Universal Wrestling College. Go there. The following match is one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, weighing in at 245 pounds, this is Grizzled Ryan Davidson. See, this is what's so great about these power trips and about us partnering with Wildcat Sports is we're gonna be seeing some incredible athletes from the Wildcat brand here, including this guy. And Tim Storm, you've had a lot of experience with Mr. Davidson. Uh, I, don't, I, can't, I can't tell you how many matches so many times have been in the ring against Ryan Davidson. He is, when he's called the grizzled, the, the, the grizzled, grizzled veteran, he is absolutely that. But you can replace that word with, with veteran. Uh, he's experienced. Uh, this guy has, has been a champion everywhere he's been, in, in, including Wildcats for him. And his opponent, weighing in at 273 pounds, he is the muscle of Valhalla. This is Odinson. Odinson had that. Devastating loss, really, at hard times. Yeah. Three against Thrill Billy Silas. 
So you know that he's going to come back. He's going to be even more motivated to put on the pain, put on the pressure, and of course look for that devastating pounce. It's hard to, it's hard to imagine that Odinson even, even more focused, even, you know, even, even more concentrated. I mean, he's, uh, you know, he, he's obviously an athlete. There he is spraying the purpose into his mouth. We saw that that actually seemed to backfire on Odinson when Drill Billy Silas Mason was able to get his hands on it. It'll be interesting to see the strategy that we'll see from Ryan Davidson making a debut here in an NWA ring. But as you mentioned, Tim, no stranger to the squared circle, an absolute consummate veteran, a true example of what it means to be a part of Wildcat sports as the bell is rung. Ryan Davidson, a former Wildcat heavyweight champion with the longest reign of over 900 days. Wow. Well, he, he has fought, and I, and I can tell you just from personal experience that he, he, he's excited about a chance to be in an NWA ring, to show people what he can do. Because a lot of people already know, but to show a whole new potential world. Oh, sure. You know, it's, yep. it's, it's something that he's, he's been hungry for. But he's got his, I tell you, he's got his work cut out. Taking it to Odinson in the corner. Trying to get that early advantage. Ooh, charges, oh, but face full of boot from Odinson followed up with a vicious clothesline. Oh my gosh. We've seen that barrage. And we've heard that. Yeah, too. yeah, of, of, of those kind of uppercuts, those kind of clotheslines. Into the cover, kick out. I think Odinson, is, he, he's sending a message. He needs to get back on track. He wants to get into that title picture. That, that loss, it, it, it literally came out of nowhere. I, I, it, it, was, it was something I don't think anybody expected. Um, In a match nobody expected. Yeah, and, and, it's, and like you said, he's, he's coming out to reestablish uh, if you can call that whatever it was, he hasn't made any excuses, but he's here to reestablish what he does. You can hear every single one of these make, these blows making contact and just, just echoing in this building. Oh, sure. <laughs> and, of course, Ryan Davidson has to be extra motivated in this match as well. I mean, he's in his hometown. He's got his crowd here. He's got his family in attendance here at the Civic Center, at the Frederick Seeger Civic Center. There, I don't think there's anything that, that Brian Davidson hasn't seen, hasn't experienced. Inverted atomic drop. Scoop and a slam. Not finished yet. Ooh, Ooh comes vicious. down hard on Odinson. Cover now. Kick oh. out. And what a big what a big win it, it, it would be if Ryan Davidson can 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 win this match. But like, you know, you said it coming out how focused Odinson looks. Ryan Davidson targeting the arm, now targeting the neck. I don't, I can't, I, I can't in recent memory remember a time that I, that I think that, that I've seen Odinson in this kind of trouble, uh, especially this early. He usually, he usually takes that, the, that aggressive and, and gets out early, kind of gets a quick start. Odinson able to counter with the forearm. There's that strength, the power. Now. Davidson sneaks out the back door. Kick to the gut. DDT! Actually, I think he trapped the arm there, still targeting that left arm into the cover. Shoulders down, kick out by Odinson. He's going to have to stay focused here. You hit something, you hit, you, you hit. You see, you Odinson, hit. it looks like he's favoring that left arm. Absolutely. He might have came down pretty hard on it. From that DDT. Yeah, it was. It's it's that. It's that focus. There it is. It's that it focused is, yep. attack. And if I mean, and if he can, he's going to stay on it. If he can take that away, I'm, I'm struggling with when I see Odinson. A lot, a lot of times, I look and I kind of put guys into a category. You can't, 
you can say he's a powerhouse. You can say he's an athlete. You can say he's a flyer. You can't. I mean, he can. He fits he all fits of those. All those yeah. categories. Absolutely. You can check all those yes. boxes, but you can't do that if, if somebody breaks your arm, pulls your pulls your shoulder out of socket. That pressure's been applied for some yeah. time now on that already textbook kind of injured top arm. wrist lock, but Odinson just powered himself out of it. Damage has been done already. Nice drop kick by Odinson. That air time, but he goes right back to clenching that left arm. Maybe trying to get some feeling back in it. So much power in the legs of Odinson. That was a picture-perfect drop kick for a man of that size. It's, it's the incredible. The air time he gets on that is incredible, yes. I want to say it's surprising, Ooh. but it, we've seen it. We, we've seen so many examples of his ability to do that. Odinson charges. Oh, my gosh. Rocked him. But you see how he's dictating the pace. He can't even grab the arm for a traditional Irish whip. I mean, he's uh, just uh, pushing. Uh. It might not matter into the torture rack. Oh, he's got him loaded. Oh, I know that oh, hurts there's that an left elbow. arm, though. Yeah. Couldn't keep him up. Davidson eats the boot. What's That's he looking for it. now? Oh, springboard Beautiful. into the uppercut. Beautiful. Combination of all those boxes Close that we just did. that said. cover. Is that it? Oh, only a two count. So close. Still grabbing that shoulder, still grabbing that arm. He 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 hooked a leg. He he couldn't interlock his, his hands to, to hold on to that. And again, going for it. Torture right position. Yeah, he's going after that arm. Ryan Davidson. I mean, yeah, he got smart. him loaded. Ryan Davidson going after that shoulder. 17-year veteran. I mean, he's going to know how to get out of holes. And oh, my power. beautiful power slam! Immediately into the cover. Shoulders down. Kick out. And look at the look on Ryan Davidson's face. He thought that was it. He thought he had Odinson beat right there. He's calling for the end here. Up, Up on, on the his shoulders. Yep. Odinson with the counter. Into the bounce. Oh, oh good night. Dead ass guardian pounce. Count to That's got to be it. The winner of this match. Odinson! That was a hard-fought victory. Yeah. I mean, he he had to earn that one, Tim. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it, it both, it both of these guys did. When you see something like that, you have to appreciate all of the qualities that go into that. That's a that's a big win for Ryan Davidson. He showed the world what he can do, uh, and and I think uh, he's he's going to be disappointed at the loss, but happy with that effort. And Odinson right. back on track. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting word in my ear. Uh, May Valentine is standing by with Aaron Stevens. Babe? Does the NWA know that you're actually retired from in-ring competition? Apparently not. Apparently, the board members of the NWA are just sitting there supping on the broth of ignorance and actually thinking that me, a licensed manager is qualified to get in the ring. What would qualify me from getting in? I mean, sure, at one time I used to do that, but I am a full-time professional wrestling manager. That is what I write on my taxes. That is my job title. And tonight I'm supposed to get in there and subject myself to violence. I mean, Kratos is going to attempt to assault the castle that is my body. And there is nothing that the NWA, a sanctioning body, is going to do about it i think it's pretty stupid uh, yeah you are one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time yeah, i was and people need to respect that you have turned the page babe yes listen to her keep yeah. going keep yeah. going what yeah. else do they need to respect me the, everything about you you're the greatest the professional wrestler of all time i was but i'm a manager now yeah and they want to hurt me yeah you don't want to hurt me do you don't hurt him don't hurt me i'm going to say this charisma is not the enemy of ability. It's been a long, long time since we've seen me in in-ring action. My mind is sharper than ever. I have been able to last. I have been able to stay. I have been able to withstand every storm, every challenge, every roadblock that has ever come my way. And this injustice that has befalled me by the NWA and its members of the committee, it'll simply be another roadblock 
that I overcome. Kratos, your destiny awaits. Partner! Best wrestler of all time. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> Hey, what's the gig? Danny Deals, Daniel Double Deals, Triple D, Deal Machine, whatever you want to say, not hanging at the Deals House, but with the lovely Candy. Candy, how you feeling? Me too. We got great deals. Now listen, everybody knows I love the logo. We love the logo shirts, but we decided we're going to do a couple other things. I hate this little goofball, but I, I own them anyway. Everybody saw the pay-per-view. I know you saw it. I'll make a deal with anybody. I cut a deal with Count Chocula for his little gimp buddy. That's almost gone. Tyrus Smash. I don't know that. Well, it, he ain't around, is he? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Look at this one. Brother Smash and everything. Look at this one. Now, CJ talked me into this one. You're still my number one. But this is where the magic happens. That's what I'm talking about. Go to the NWA shop. All deals are candy approved. I love you. Get everything. Buy it so I can make more stuff. Thank you. Bye. The following match is one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing first, from Malibu Lake, California, this is Aaron Stevens! You know, this has been such a jam-packed episode, we haven't really been able to have a chance to Cut talk about it. Oh, God. Cut the music! I want each and every one of you to know, I am here tonight under official protest. I do not belong in a ring. I am a manager and I am being forced to wrestle. Therefore, I kindly ask all of you to shut up and give no credence to my opponent or anyone who supports my opponent. Well, Aaron Stevens lined it up for you folks, based on what we saw at Hard Times 3. He said his opponent. He doesn't look well, like he's dressed to well, have he, a match. He, Maybe he was hoping it would get canceled because apparently he is an official manager, but he'll lose that manager license if he does not wrestle here tonight based on all the shenanigans that we saw at Hard Time 3 just a few days ago. Well, he said it clear. He, he's under protest. He's, he, he's protesting being out here to wrestle. opponent from Sacramento, California. He is the most swagged Kratos! I'm almost surprised that Kratos doesn't have a big smile on his face because you know he's been dying to have a match like this to get his hands on Aaron Stevens. Yeah, there, Finally that. he gets that opportunity but what will Aaron Stevens, like, he always has a trick up his sleeve. He does. What's it going to be tonight? How's he going to weasel his way out of this match? He's, and, not, and, he's obviously not dressed to wrestle. Well, the history between these two guys. I mean, it, it, Aaron Stevens basically hired Kratos, a hired gun as a tag partner. They win. They win the titles. They have a. They have what, what at first was a really rocky relationship, then a very successful tag partnership, and now we're here. And let's not just forget a few days ago. I mean. Aaron Stevens always aligning himself with another powerhouse, the question mark, right. being demasked. But we still weren't able to see his face. Howell was thrown I, 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 Who Joe. could it possibly be? Who, who, who was on, guys? We, we know, but, you know. I, I man. I but, think we've all, well, we've all debated that, that about who that is, right? And, and, and I don't think it's a big debate. Oh, but look at Aaron Stevens already touching the hand. He may have loaded that glove. Yeah. Wait a minute. We have an issue. Yeah, Scott he's... Scott Wheeler's making an announcement here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Wheeler, the referee, has just informed me that in order for this match to continue, due to the controversy of the black glove that Aaron Stevens has, he must remove the glove oh, wow. or be disqualified. And Aaron Stevens is apparently clearly not happy about that. What could be in that glove? If he That's gets so disqualified, important. he's going to lose that manager's license. He's not going to have a job. Well, we, we've speculated. We've spec. Look, he's reaching. He's taking it off. What's oh, he doing? But he's taking something out of it first. Wait a minute. If that's, if that's not basically an admission of guilt, I... It, he took some, yeah, he took something out of that. He put it in his, his Wait, pocket. there's another glove. A latex well, glove? Well, uh, he, he has... A, all right, well, it's been inspected. That? It's, uh, I don't know if he's going to start uh, why is, maybe okay. doing some exams, maybe making some sandwiches. What I don't kind know of why exams would you where, be doing in a rest? Well, not okay. medically medical. ring. You'd usually do those in a doctor's let's office. Let's it's just, a medical glove. Yeah. you doing medical exams. 
He might need a doctor after this matchup. Well, I, I who's checking who? Wait a minute. Oh come uh, on! They, that's a why didn't we? Move. Can we ring the bell? Can we go? I just remembered. I do not have a professional wrestling license. I am a manager. Therefore, I am unable to compete in this match. I'm so sorry. I had a feeling this was going to happen. And and as a manager, if Kratos touches me. He will be fined, suspended, and we'll never see him again. And trust me, I'll sue. So, I bid all of you in this hellhole of New Orleans a very, a very fond adieu. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, typical Aaron Stevens. Well, he said he didn't have a wrestling license, right? I mean, this is this a This is a sanctioned state. match. Uh, on second thought, a wrestler's license is good for two years. I think we can start this match. Oh there you my go. goodness. There you, you said it, Velvet. You if anything, he just pissed Kratos off. Oh, yeah, exactly. Huge I think this match right is over. To the face. It's over before it begins. Kratos, another one of these powerhouses that's just so quick and agile. Oh, Kratos has been waiting for this moment for so long to finally get his hands on Aaron Stevens. He's got so much rage and so much aggression to just take out on Aaron Stevens. Well, and that's that's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why they were successful. We had you had a te a technician, somebody who was very much an intellectual type wrestler and a powerhouse that could basically just tear things apart. But yeah, you're look. You can see. Oh, he's. Ripping off his shirt. Oh, oh open man. hand slap to the face of Aaron Stevens. Oof. Kratos seems to be taking a ton of, of, of pleasure in just pounding on it. Is it Kratos or is it Kratos? Uh, Kratos. What, what are we Kratos. calling Kratos. him? Kratos, Kratos. Uh, Kratos. 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 Well, there's a reason why either way you pronounce it, it starts with the most feared. Uh, because if I were Aaron True. Stevens, I'd be scared to death. At Especially this at this point, absolutely. Oh, man, correct me if I'm wrong. I know you will. Oh my gosh, that. Oh my oh. gosh, the way he just threw Aaron Stevens across the ring on that suplex. I think they introduced him as the most swag. Oh, I'm that's sorry. right. I don't know. No, I. No, I, no. Thank who you is this? Who are these people? Wait a minute. What is the? Oh no. What? What is going on right now? Is this something that Aaron Stevens set up? It's got to be, but look, that it's it's it, the black mask. But there's no question. But it's not. It. It's these aren't question. These aren't people from Mongrovia. These are not Mongrovian warriors. Man, oh, they are. Ah. There's, the 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 there we question go. Mark two. there's question mark two. Coming to the rescue. Take it, take it, taking it to both of these masked men, whoever they are. And the crowd oh, knows exactly who is. Oh, question mark two now getting shut down by both of these men. What is going are, on right now? They are Just chaos. Vicious. Obviously, this is orchestrated by Aaron Stevens. Ugh. Once again, Aaron Stevens won't fight his own battles. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, that, Kratos. Well, I, do, we know, do we not? Do, that boot, we've seen that. And now he's Aaron's putting that. Oh, come putting on. Putting the glove back on. But the glove. Oh, it, no, this is not uh, looking good for Kratos. This match at has been all. thrown Come out, on. obviously. And he's reached in the pocket. And he's reached in what the is pocket. He reaching, what is in his pocket? He's going to load the glove. That's what we've said that for, for what, oh, months? Oh, Kratos. This could this like end no, a no, career. No, 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 don't not do like it, this. Aaron. Don't. Oh, no. Come on, Aaron. Another despicable is, alliance made by just, Aaron Stevens. And now going after question mark two. Oh, I am disgusted right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do it. Come on. Enough is enough. A double. Oh, my gosh. Why can't Aaron Stevens fight his own battles on his own? All right. A chaotic finish to this episode of Power, folks. But we got to get things... Moving along, because we will see you this Saturday for NWA USA.